Hello guys, uh, this is one of my first game in uh, RU251. Unfortunately it's a heartbreak and I believe that the major reason is that I have spent too much time uh, trying to climb the hill because I wasn't sure of its capabilities and I lost too much time on this and there were some risky moves so let's see how it goes so I immediately go to a very good spotting position I have binoculars and I'm able to I hope to be able to spot everyone the enemy team is very aggressive they push the meal and well, they're doing the right thing because they're heavies and uh, uh, this works well for them. It's the right move. Uh, I was able to take several shots and I hope that uh, the rest of the team would be able to capitalize on this opportunity. But unfortunately, they don't do much damage to these tanks. Our TD also stayed there alone and they just smashed it. Well, if only it was able to do one extra shot, the outcome of the game would be quite different. So that's lesson number one, don't stay alone. And lesson number two, if you are spotted in RU251, immediately fall back. Like I do, just drop down and disengage because <coughs> this tank would be unable to take any shots. We have uh, another lone tank uh, on the right side which decided to turn and meet the wave of the red tanks. Again, this is a wrong decision. Uh, he shouldn't be staying alone. And at this point we are down two tanks, but uh, I feel that I could win this game because uh, the team starts to split and we are able to have a nice uh, pincer at this position while uh, the rest of the team goes around those hills. So they're in the open and I'm doing a lot of damage. And I just enjoy RU because it's so fast and uh, it's so capable of getting in the, in the position quickly and fire those shots. It just works very well. Uh, unfortunately, we are still down one tank and that J Panther collapsed. I probably should have tried to help it, but no. Now, what I'm doing, I am I know that I should be able to climb up this hill and I'll try to catch their flank as they turn around because, again, uh, they attack the rest of the team at the meal and I'm going from behind and that should be good pincer movement. I'm trying to kill that uh, Borsik, so I load high explosive, but I fortunately I missed that round. Again, that probably was the difference between lost game and won game. So, as you see, I'm always trying to get into position where I have uh, back shots or side shots, uh, which is what you should be doing in this tank, and that's where I spent uh, precious time trying to climb up the hill because I want to go up there and spot them at the meal but I probably should have taken some acceleration before trying to climb up there or I should have used a um, speed boost now I realize that they probably have gone and I have to go around the hill to meet them at the other side I'm not sure if it was totally right decision I don't know, I'm doing too much extra movement. So I'm trying to go around high ground in case they decided to go through the town and spot everyone. So I'm trying to stay more or less close but not that close. <coughs> now I'm at the top of the castle and uh, I'm trying to spot everyone who goes inside. Again, at this point I should be loading hit round yeah, that AP round definitely won't go through that <coughs> thick turret. Anyways, so I'm trying to support the rest of the team. Unfortunately, I'm spotted and this means that I have to move away fast. I dodge the shell, but again, you can't take any shot and RU 
you always have to disengage, reset your karma, because uh, this tank is just paper. <laughs> I knew that thing before, <laughs> buying it and driving it. So that's one of the lessons I learned before, <laughs> before starting to drive it. So, anyways, uh, I'm trying to pull out another shot at Borsik, but he's clever enough to hide away and disengage from me because I wasn't even spotted. Unfortunately, we lost another tank, and at this point, I realized that uh, we have just a bit over one minute, so I'm going into position to reset the camp because they are starting to cap, and uh, I should be able to use this bream to hide myself and take those shots. Unfortunately, I'm trading shots at this point. I can't do anything about this. We are just out of time and there is less than one minute and there are still a lot of hit points to go through. Unfortunately, the Spieg dies because he was sitting at the top, which is wrong idea. Oh boy. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm dodging shells quite successfully, but uh, that's not enough. I don't have enough time, I don't have enough DPM. Uh, probably I should have moved <coughs> inside the town at this point, because uh, there is literally no time. At this point I shouldn't be pulling back, I should be just driving through, but it's like two seconds and... We just don't have enough time to place the last one, so that's a heartbreak. Four and a half thousand <laughs> damage dealt, third mastery and heartbreak. So thanks for watching and bye.